my name is Steve Pinto, CEO of Wandsworth Chamber of Commerce. I have a question for uh, Wandsworth Council, our leader. Wandsworth is made up of many, many small businesses and a great many of those are self-employed people and sole traders. At present, the government is providing very little support for these businesses. What is Wandsworth Council doing to lobby the government on this issue? Thank you. Steve, before I come to your questions, can I just say thank you very much for partnering with Wandsworth Council to support our outreach to the business community. Your webinars are very, very well subscribed and an important part of our contribution to advising the, the local business community. But for the 35,000 self-employed people, there is a government scheme, but in order to access it, they need to have up-to-date annual accounts. Some of them have obviously not been able to do them in time. Now, we have partnered with three local accountancy firms to make sure that those who need the help and advice to complete those accounts and submit them in time to access government grants have got that. In fact, that it's at no cost to the self-employed person. We will bear that cost because you are such an important part of our community. But I know that whilst the government scheme for self-employed people is generous, it does not cover everyone. So we are lobbying the government to make three distinct improvements to the schemes. Firstly, we think that the upper limit of 50,000 should be removed. At the moment, it becomes a cliff fall if you exceed 50,000. You get nothing. We think instead what it should be is the first 50,000 should be eligible for funding and thereafter no more. But that is one change that would help a lot of people. Secondly, we think that there should be a flat rate lower limit for lower earned, earning self-employed. This would be kind of equivalent to the, the threshold below which no income tax is paid. And finally, there are many self-employed businesses which, where, where managers pay themselves through a dividend and they are not at the moment covered and I think that is an unfair uh, restriction and that is another change that we are lobbying the government to make. Now the question was I had from a local resident is when will we get our grant? So she'd made an application and has not received uh, the grant. Officers have been in touch with her and I know that she's been reassured that her grant is on its way and she should soon have it. So many of you will know the government's been quite, quite generous with the business support schemes that they've put out there. We end up being the administrators of the scheme and our watchword is that we should administer those as efficiently as possible with as minimum bureaucracy as possible so that the money is processed and in your bank accounts as soon as you need it. Because you're already struggled with, struggling with cash flow problems I don't think we should need, have to add to it. So as soon as the schemes were announced, we wrote to 4,000 of our local businesses, making them aware of the scheme and how we would process it. To date, we have delivered 30 million pounds of the government grants to 80% of our eligible businesses. Hopefully, it has reached you in time to address all your cash flow crisis issues. Of course, every government scheme has shortcomings, and this too has it. So, for example, it doesn't cover businesses that pay their service charges and rents and all in one. Now, we have lobbied the government to address this particular problem. And we continue to listen to the business community for how else we can improve both our services and how we can lobby the government to improve its offer. So there are regular advice sessions. Uh, certainly, I referred earlier to the partnership with Wanza Chamber of Commerce and that too has been very, very important and useful in informing our business sector in how to access government support.